Hello, Mrs. Christie. I want you to help me solve a murder. I'm a writer, not a detective. Please, she deserves justice. Let's start at the beginning. Thank you. Six years ago, Florence, Nurse Nightingale's goddaughter, was bludgeoned to death on a train. They never caught the killer, and I've been investigating ever since. I need to solve a murder. I have to pretend to be someone else. I think her cousin killed her. He's called Randolph. He inherited the trust fund. Where's the lawyer? Daphne. Florence's report would have seen her barred from nursing. I was cleared. That woman almost wrecked her life. One of Florence's wastes and strays. He wouldn't leave her alone. He wanted money, I'm sure. You were arrested for murder in January 1920. Is that true? Travis Pickford. A nasty piece of work. They tried to pin it on me. Who is Florence visiting? Mrs. Pamela Rose. She's a suspect. Same is true for anyone who knew what train she was on. My mother and I have nothing to do with this absurd game. This is as insulting as it is stupid. So that makes five. Well, unless you count me. My name is Detective Inspector Dix. No offence, but none of you lot look like the killing type. What is it they say about revenge? Dig two graves. If this is Christie were writing this. Mrs. Westwickart would be guilty. Does your work involve undermining my investigation? Of course not. We just need to keep digging. She is a fraud. I couldn't murder anyone. This is an intolerable situation. We can agree on that. It doesn't look good when our boys come home and start murdering civilians. A while ago, I realized I write about obsession, the inability to clear something from one's mind. Mabel is obsessed with finding the killer of the person she loved. I came here to help. 